Good afternoon, Hardin County. We are out at Sullivan Auto Group today. We are going to be bringing our audience a 12-week informative video series. So we're not necessarily here to sell you a car, although I'm sure that you can. <laughs> we have a very nice front line. <laughs> we are here to um, bring some tips and tools to everybody to become a savvier, smarter car shopper. Um, and that can be uh, applied to new cars, but we're really talking about mostly used cars and that process today. So um, we have Anthony Rizzo with us today. He is the Retail General Manager. And then we've also got Chris Anderson. Chris is the Service Center Manager. So we're just gonna be talking for just a short time just to bring you guys some tips and tools. Um, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about gap insurance and warranties. So like we talked about before, I don't even know what gap insurance <laughs> is. You're not so alone. <laughs> I'm probably not alone. So let's start from the basics. Okay. Tell me what gap insurance is and why you need it and what it's for. Yeah, absolutely. And first, thanks for thanks for having us. We're uh, we're excited to do this. This is going to be a great series where we can really really help people get smarter and get better and feel more comfortable mm -hmm. buying a car. It's it's super important. It's such a scary thing sometimes, you know. Sure. Um, but gap insurance. Is what we're going to talk about first. Um, guaranteed auto protection. A lot of people have no idea what it is um, and. Uh, if you could think about the value of your vehicle, mm -hmm. to really break it down, let's say you go out and you buy a vehicle for $10,000. You drive off the lot, you drive a ton of miles, let's say now it's worth 8000 You still owe ten on it, right? Okay. Your insurance, if you were to total that vehicle out, is going gonna, is gonna to pay the market value. They're going to pay the $8,000. So now you've got that extra $2,000 that the bank is going to need back, right? Sure. That's what gap insurance covers. Okay. So it, in that type of scenario, Gap is wonderful, um, and Gap is a great product 99% uh, of the time. Yeah. Um, there are some times when you don't need Gap, though, and that's kind of what we want to teach people. We want to teach people when is Gap right, when is Gap wrong, when does it make sense to have it. Right. Um, so in the scenario that I just explained, it'd be pretty awesome if you had Gap, right? You wouldn't have to pay any money out of pocket um, if you were to total the vehicle out um, in an unfortunate accident. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, there are times when it doesn't make sense to have. So, for example, let's say you come onto the lot, you buy a vehicle that's two or three thousand dollars back of the bank value, which bank values we'll talk about that in a later series. Um, but if you were to buy that vehicle two or three thousand dollars back of value and then put some money down, so now you've got a ton of positive equity in the vehicle, well, gap doesn't make any sense, right? It's very unlikely that you would ever need it. Right. Um, and gap can range anywhere from four hundred ninety nine dollars up to eight hundred ninety nine dollars, depending on the state you're in, depending on the dealership you're buying the vehicle at, depending on the cost of the vehicle overall. So, so. is that a yearly price? No, it's actually one price that's built into your loan. Typically, wow. you can get gap insurance um, on a standard finance loan anywhere from six dollars to nine dollars a month added onto your bill. Right. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yes, absolutely. You know, I've personally had to use it, um, and so uh, years and years and years ago. I, uh, I was in a car accident and ended up having some negative equity and they totaled the vehicle out. Uh, luckily it had gaps, so I'm a huge fan of it, but again, um, it doesn't always make sense to have, so it's important to understand when it's good and when it's not. Was this the same car that you were telling me about, had you known about all the fees that you were paying for, <laughs> yes. that they were negotiable and yes. you didn't even need to pay them? Yep. So that's yep. one of the reasons that we're here today is to just to... In our 12-week series, we're going to tell people about these fees and why they don't need to buy them. But on to our topic at hand, um, warranties. Yeah. What warranties. about warranties? Warranties are great. Um, so we're going to let Chris um, take a little bit of this in a minute here, but um, he's going to be able to explain uh, some of these repair costs that people are always scared of, which, which is what warranties are all about, right? Protecting mm -hmm. your investment. Uh, most of the time when someone buys a vehicle, it's a huge purchase, right? I mean, people make... Two sure. major purchases, sure. car and a home. Mm -hmm. And you want to protect that investment. I mean, you've got to be on the road or you can't make it to work or anything else. I mean, none of us would be here today on time if we had to walk, right? Right, <laughs> so, absolutely. Um, warranties are great. You know, what makes a warranty good and what makes a warranty not a good warranty is, is pretty simple in my opinion. If your warranty is able to be used anywhere in the country, because mm -hmm. you want to be protected no matter where you go, that is step one. It's super important. Um, step two is does it cover the items that, that you may need covered? So having good coverage, having nationwide coverage, those things are extremely important. 
Um, I mean, honestly, the old days of having an engine and a transmission warranty only, with cars being so electronically driven, um, those warranties don't make sense anymore. Um, engine and transmission, not the biggest concern. It's all the little things that are yes. $400, $500, $600 that cost to repair, um, where you can get a warranty for between $9 and $15 a month, depending on how big of a warranty you want. Um, with your finance plan, it just sort of makes sense to protect that investment. Okay. Um, and so, Chris, I think would be probably the, the best source um, to talk a little bit about, um, you know, what you repair hit, costs. Yeah, you hit it on the head because we're Fort Knox is right here by us, and we have a lot of soldiers that are in and out in our community a lot. So they might be in California or Alaska a, a month from now, so you don't know. So, mm -hmm. you know, if, if they're out west to repair in California, it probably costs a lot more than it does here anyway. So if, if you buy the warranty and cars fail, it's just, you know, it's a necessary evil, and we need these. So, and we had one soldier to come in, and he bought a Denali, a nice truck, and, and he bought a warranty, and he was kind of skeptical about it. And I was like, you know, just try it and see. And it was about six, seven months, his engine just failed for no particular reason, and he was even on top of his oil changes. It was, it was about $7,200, and it cost him $100. Wow. So we put a new engine in it, and, and he was just like, we were just best friends from there. Wow. Yeah. So, in, you know, the worst-case scenario, he spent, you know, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300, so one fee. And, you know, and we're going into summer, so you can have some air conditioner concerns. You know, if your air compressor falls, fails, I mean, you can be eleven, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 on a newer car in just a matter of seconds. So, yeah. you know, $100 deductible. And, and they won't cover everything. I mean, you know, so, so you're not going to cover a light bulb or a tail light bulb. So you got to kind of understand that. It's not just going to fix your car. So you still have some responsibilities. But the major repairs that could be four or five hundred at a time, you know, a hundred dollar deductible, and you can go in and get it fixed. It's just, it's, yeah. it's easy. That's, it's, it's that's just good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. I mean, just good. At, at the end of the day, you know, you look at. New cars, used cars, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you're talking about. Even new cars, you look at all the recalls that come out. Things happen. Um, things happen when the car is built. Things happen when the car is owned by somebody else. There's a million things that can go on with a car. So the idea is that there, there's some unknown when you buy any car, whether it's new or used. Mm -hmm. With a warranty, you take away some of that risk. It's just peace of mind. It is peace of mind. Yeah, it's like car insurance. Sure. I mean, you, you want it, and you've got to pay for it. And you hope you never need it. Right. But my goodness, when you need it, you hope you've got it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's the same and thing. That, that's just like yeah. hitting the nail on the head right there. You, yeah. you don't want it, and you don't want to use it, but Lord have mercy if you need it. I, I mean, <laughs> and, and the, the it, cars are so technical now. I mean, there's cars are getting with no keys, push-button yeah. starters, no yeah. door locks. I mean, it's just a lot of a little things that are just feet creature comforts that, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. if it fails, it could just be a nightmare and a yeah. major expense. So, that's, I mean, we use SCR, and they're spot on, point on. We've not had any claims, any denies. Tell me what SCR is. So, SCR Auto Protection Plans, that's a warrant, the warranty company that, that we sell here. Okay. Um, it's a nationwide plan. Fantastic plan. want to show this um, as an example of, I don't know if you can see this or not, but... Um, just to show some of the things that, that you'd want to be looking for for coverage. You, you don't want a, a warranty. It, it doesn't matter where you buy a warranty. If you're in California, you're in New York, you're in, in Florida, you're here in Kentucky, it doesn't matter where you are. You want to make sure that the warranty you get is a good, solid warranty with a lot of coverage. Um, this, this shouldn't be a, a super slim thing. You should see a lot of items in your warranty because you want to get, you want to get the bang for your buck. I mean, Absolutely. you've got to protect your investment. And you look at things like electrical system, advanced electrical. So, for example, um, we can pick a couple of things if you want here okay. and uh, talk about, and we'll let Chris tell us, of course, um, you know, what these things will cost. So, for example, um, let's say... Air conditioner, you mentioned that earlier, if it's compressor. AC compressor failure is pretty common. You know, you could be a thousand, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars in just a, yeah. a drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. uh, and going into summer, so you're going to start, you know, where they, they they start going bad. You don't use them over the winter, so you'll start you'll start seeing some of that. It's pretty common, uh, very expensive, and it's not a this it's not an accessory no more. That air conditioner is a need. And, oh yeah. Uh, with the, it's yeah. nothing to see 100 degrees in Kentucky oh, yeah. anymore. So right. That, that, and one other thing that's really important, too, that a lot of people don't realize, 
you don't have to do a three or four or five year warranty like a lot of a lot of um, places will offer you. I mean, we have we have a, a twenty four thousand mile warranty, two year warranty as well. But um, the thing is, is you don't really need that. If you've got a good, solid quality warranty, it should be renewable. Mm-hmm. So you can do a one year or a two year and then renew it after that. Um, so that you're not spending all of that up front because you're not getting much of a discount right. from 24 months to 48 months anyway. So it's better to do a one year um, or a two year and then just renew that after the fact. Um, I mean, let's be honest, most people are not keeping their cars more than two years anymore anyway. People yeah. are trading in, people are always, they're always changing up and... and, and something new, some different something different color. Yeah, exactly. But in about a used car, if you just bought like a six month, I mean, because... You don't know the car, so within a six month, it's, you got some quirky little things, and you got a six month warranty, and you're like, you know, so I'm gonna get this fixed and this fixed mm-hmm. and this. I don't like this, so let's look at this. You know? Yeah, and the warranty covers it. I mean, yeah, because in six months you'll know your car at that point anyway. So exactly, I, I just think that's just a, a huge bonus. And here's a little secret too. Okay, little secret we're gonna share because that's what this is all about. This is all about sharing the inside tips of how to be a better shopper and more savvy. Typically, most dealerships, just like us, are going to offer some type of, especially a certified pre-owned location, um, they're going to offer some type of guaranteed warranty right out of the gate. In our case, it's you know 90 days or 3,000 miles, whichever comes first. Well, that's awesome. Don't forget, if you purchase a warranty on that, make sure you're getting all of your warranty. If you buy a one-year warranty, make sure you're getting 15 months. Don't forget about that free three months they were giving you anyway. Right. Yes. A lot of people yeah. forget about that. Don't forget about that. Right. They, they'll give it to you. You just have to ask. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, like a 90-day, you know, dealer guarantee or something. Yeah, exactly. You know, something going on that first month or so, then yeah. let the dealer deal with it. And then, that's right. after, then get your full term that you paid for after that. Exactly. That, yeah. that, you know, that's a good point because nobody thinks about it. Nobody that's, thinks about yeah. that. They really don't. Don't <laughs> forget. Really. Don't forget to ask about that. Get your get your extra three months because that might be the three months when something happens. You right. just never know. Protect that's yourself. True. That's what this is all about. Okay guys. Before we uh, go any further, anything else? We today? got a nice front line of cars. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to we're here to help and and, and make yes. sure we're doing this because we want people to be better shoppers. We want people to walk into any dealership anywhere in the country and say, "I'm confident. I'm comfortable. I can buy this car and I can work with this and I'm not scared of the car dealership." Right. And yes. then um, we're, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. So every Thursday for 12 weeks, we're going to be doing this video series. Each week, we're going to have different topics that you um, need to know about and tips and tools. So uh, comment with your questions on this live stream. Uh, These guys are going to follow that feed and answer your questions as soon as they can. Um, And another thing that we have going on is um, a little contest. We love contests here at Hard and Local. So if you share this video, uh, you'll be in a contest to win a $100 gift certificate to Vibe Coffee. That's a, a lot of coffee and, That's a lot and of coffee. bowls. <laughs> <laughs> I like coffee. Yes, yes. Co- they, have, they have way more than coffee there. So. Um, so share this video to be entered in that contest. But again, if you have any questions, just feel free to uh, comment with those. And then next week, um, if we can we'll have it set up where we can do um some live questions so live questions in our conversation so um we will uh check back with you all next week and thanks for talking to us and sharing these tips thanks for having us all right thanks guys always fun